Okay, so yes, I did go on a vacation with a total stranger, but in my defense, I was at a party, okay, okay, with one of my best friends and his co-workers, and his manager has a best friend that doesn't work there, but is his best friend. That is who I went with, so like, in a way, like, he's uh, someone of someone that knows someone, you know what I mean? Okay, so... What happened was, I was at, like I said, the party, and uh, I actually was supposed to be going on a date after the party, but then I decided to stay because I was having so much fun. Night goes on, I'm talking to this guy, he brings up the fact that he's going to be going to Colorado, and I was like, oh, like, when are you going to Colorado? And then he was like, oh, I'm going, he was like, I'm going tonight, and I was like, tonight? Like, he was like, yeah, I was actually supposed to, let, like, have left already, but I was having so much fun that he just that i decided to stay so he just had to stay and i was like oh that's so weird like i decided to stay too i was having so much fun i was actually supposed to go on a date like from a tinder date and he was like that's like that's crazy and pretty much like i thought he was cute so just like you know i was like in my head i was like oh so it, like worked out that like we you know we both stayed and um he was like and i was like i wish I, I brought up the fact i was like i wish i could go to colorado with you that would be so much fun he was like it's like if you want you can and then i was like oh my gosh are you serious because like stop like i literally will like i really want to and he was like no seriously like i'm going alone like if you want you can come and i was like oh i actually don't work like for the next four days and then i can actually call off one more day so i can have like at least four days there and like i'll come back on the fifth he was like, yeah, whatever you want. Like, you can stay at my place. Keep me company while I, like, go there. And I was like, that's amazing. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Because I was like, I don't have a lot of money. He was like, no, like, we'll, like, go to the grocery store. And, like, you can get stuff there. Like, I would buy my own stuff. And then, like, you'll fly back. And you won't have to spend money on, like, stay, pretty much. I was like, okay, great. So we're leaving, like, late. He, we start driving. We're in, like, Pennsylvania. I live in New Jersey. So New Jersey to Colorado, which is, like a 24 hour ride or maybe more something like that i don't know maybe 27 or maybe a day in 27 hours i think that's what it is we are in like i said in pennsylvania we get gas great and um, we get somewhere else like two hours closer and and by the way like the gas doesn't like have a like the meter doesn't show you how much gas so we just kept getting gas by like how long and yeah so the mileage is so we're going and he asked me to drive so I'm driving and he falls asleep because he's like I'm gonna work when I get there so I'm like great you're gonna work and then so I'm driving and then the next place to get gas I asked him for his card card to, like debit card to get gas so I get it great I keep driving I'm really tired like do you want to drive and then he's like yeah so then he uh he's like oh, I'm still tired so then we both sleep so this takes up some time like you know because since we're both not driving we take longer since we're stopped so we sleep and um, then we get back up and then i'm like if you want like i'll drive like again because i was like now that i'm rested so then i drive and then the next time that like it's time to get gas he says that his card isn't working um like he went i don't know why but he went out to put the get like put the thingy and i was like oh really like what, do you, what should we do like what are we gonna do that he was like can we use your card by any chance and then i was like sure you know what i mean like but like i was like but by any chance will you be able to pay me back because i don't have that much money right now like and he was like yeah yeah for sure we ended up wasting all my money like on my card in my mind i'm like this is not good so we're driving and he's like being he's like being normal like very good you know i'm being cool too everything's fine like i was still driving right and i'm paying for the gas but now i'm since i know that we're using my debit card i'm going out like to do it i put my wallet on top of the car and i'm getting the gas and i finished getting the gas and i get in the car and i start driving and i forgot the wallet i was literally like i was about to cry my wallet had my license in it, yeah. license in it and everything so I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? It's like, you know what, like it's fine, like I'll order a new one, like it's going to be fine. But I drive back to like see if my wallet's there and I tell him, I wake him up and he was like, I can't believe you lost it, like like since we didn't find it. For the next time we had to get gas, his card started working out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Like, But I found that a little bit weird. 
then he tells me that he doesn't have a place to stay. We're going to be staying in his car. And I was like, you're kidding. But I don't know how that's going to work. I have work like, three jobs. I need my car like to get to work. So I don't know how that's going to work. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not happening. <laughs> what happened after? I was silent. He was like, so I don't know what you're going to do. Will, will you be able to like get me a room? He was like, yeah, like I'll get you a room. And so he ended up getting me two day room. Like, so one night and another night. He paid for it. So thank God. And so in a way I got paid back. So I was like, okay. Like that works out. Because I was just worried. Like, what am I going to do? And still on our way. He's driving now. And the car out of nowhere breaks down while I'm like sleeping in and uh, he starts screaming like bombing and he's like f word f word f word and i was like oh my gosh what is going on calling the car bad names he's like this is, this is a like i can't believe like you know everything like all the bad things about about it in my head i'm like oh like hey what's going on he's like the car broke down he's like this piece of you know um schneiker and like I can't believe he, he he was like I can't believe I brought you like this was a mistake and I was like okay okay like it's okay I'm here and we're all safe like that's all that matters like what do you think happened oh and I never told you so since I lost my wallet I never oh this is the craziest part well one of the craziest parts there's another crazy part while I was of freaking out about my wallet i drove back like i said i literally checked everywhere in that gas station it wasn't there so i checked on the i was looking on the highway while i was driving like back and i thought i saw it so i ran out of the car I literally like ran on the highway to go and try and find it and it wasn't there because i literally thought i saw it but it, my wallet at the time was like a man's wallet it's like just black and i thought it was like open on the ground <laughs> but it was a piece of tire and yeah i was like oh, dang back to the area and i'm crying and then i see like these cows they're just like chilling eating their little flowers just relaxing bathing in the sun and i was like oh my gosh they're so cute like and i was like kind of like giggled like while i was like crying and i was like oh, i can't like that made me realize something i was like I'm here crying about like my wallet when I should just be happy that I'm alive. I'm in a freaking moving vehicle right now. Like that is so like luxurious. That is even if it's not a luxurious car, like that is so amazing. Like that this is even created. We we're in a, I'm in a human body and I can do things. Like there I can get another one. It's not a big deal. Like all that matters is that I'm still here and having a great time. So it's okay. Like that's like not anything that's really important what's important is your life i just realized that and i was like really happy and so that's what made me get over that so now he's driving like i said and the car breaks down yes yes and he's freaking out i'm like let's go to like a place a gas station where to see if like we can get this and i'm like there's one right there and he's like i don't even oh he tried to make it work and like it got there but like it was like being really weird like the car i was like let's we should ask like that the people that work in the car station over there like you know how they're working on the cars and he was like they're not gonna help us for free and i was like maybe like people are there are good people in this world like you never know like we've been driving for a really long time we're by the way we're now in colorado we're in like denver but we're going to aspen so it's still like a three hour drive or like two hours or something like that uh but i'm pretty sure three Either way, it's like, you know, a far ride. And we, I, I am like, you know what, let me just ask. And if they, if it costs money, then we won't do it. And if it doesn't, then great. And so I asked the guy, I was like, by any chance, can you help us for free? Like, our for car, well, I didn't say for free at first. I was like, by any chance, can you help us just figure out what's wrong with the car? And he was like, yes, yes. And then I told him this whole situation. He pretty much told us the battery was like messed up. He needed a new one. He like knew that. And I was like, oh, like, yeah why did we drive this car whatever so that's besides the point we're already like there so we can't like be thinking of what we should have done um we got to think of what we should do so now we're there i'm thinking like maybe we should just let the car cool down we'll just sit here and he's calling triple a i'm like that's a good idea so we call triple a the triple a ends up taking forever at some point it was getting dark we were just thinking like what if like they miss us so we just turn on the car it's been a while of sitting in there like probably like four hours now it starts working and then we're like mate let's just try to drive it and then we crash reason the reason we crashed was because he kept texting and driving fast so i 
I never liked texting and driving, but like that is horrible. And it was like by the mountain, so it was really scary. Yeah, we almost like died there. And he was freaking out like horribly, like and s s blaming like weird things, like him, like obviously yes, I guess himself, and like, but also like just blaming the fact that I was there. And I was like, I'm not really doing anything. That's like you know, he was just trying to bring me, not trying. He was just was bringing me down. Uh, and the, at the time yeah i didn't really like that so i just like you know i stayed quiet instead of trying to like kept trying to like help the solution like help like solution <laughs> help the solution and just fix the problem like not have this happen or like not ha not have this happen because he didn't mean to have that happen but like don't text and drive and maybe you won't run into a mountain like a wall like what the car was thankfully fine um but if it wasn't for me, his stuff on the top would have fallen on his windshield because it all rushed to the front and he was about to just get in the car. And I was like, wait, like it's not strapped in. And then he was like, oh, okay. So we strapped it in, whatever. We get to this like uh, hostel and he's like, I got to go to work, but he'll be back in like, like four hours. And then he doesn't come back until like the morning doesn't answer or anything. And I'm like, okay, like whatever. Like, but I left the door open because, you know, he was supposed to be coming soon. And I, like, yeah, I kept, like, I had an alarm up, like, just in case. Like, I was just, like, I didn't want the door to close or someone to come in. Whatever. So, that happened. And then, pretty much, he ends up telling me, like, he doesn't even end up, oh, he, the next day, he, like, pretty much says, like, uh, he comes crying and he's like, oh, like, he just broke up with his girlfriend. I'm like, wait, you have a girlfriend? Like, what, what is going on? Yeah, so that's actually where he was saying that's why he couldn't have me. And that obviously makes so much sense. Like, duh. Um, I just didn't want to be, like, around that. So um, I wasn't, like, you know, I was like, oh, like, you do your thing, you know? And I went on, like, hikes and I met this girl and she was super awesome. And I just, like, he kept trying to, like, come back. And what I told him, I was, she was like, just tell him that you're going to be staying with me and you got this. Oh, and I, so I, since I didn't have any more money, I babysit and I, so I called one of the people that I babysit and I was like, by any chance, can you please help me out? And I told her the situation and then she was like, yes, like how much money do you need? Cause she knows like I got her, like she got me. And she, so I, I was like a thousand dollars is probably what I need. Like, you know, cause I don't know how many days I'm going to have to like buy a room, um, to be here. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need like, it's like 140 a night. So I was like, maybe it could be like eight days. So a thousand is perfect and food. But I, I was like, just in case it's more, I was trying to like conserve my money because I needed to spend it on those things. Like so I can stay somewhere. It's, you know, I'm not going to stay outside. Well, I don't, yeah, I was like, that's, a, that's not happening. I had a lot of stuff too. Like I way overpacked. So that also taught me to not overpack, be a good, better packer, more organized. And also, you know, before you go on, like, trips like that, like, be more prepared. Um, like, don't go on trips with, like, a total stranger. Because you never know. You could be lied to. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, she sends me the money. $1,000. Great. I'm happy. I have the money to pay for the room. So, I was able to now, like, not, like, talk. Like, I was talking to him. But I wasn't, like, talking to him. Like, you know, he's not coming back. And, um... I told them that I was staying with her and I ended up going on like nine dates on Tinder. So like, well, one, I was also like, I was single. So I was like, you never know. Like I could find someone and I could also like go on a nice date, you know? So I went on a whole bunch of dates and then I ended up meeting someone that like was super cool and uh, was so okay with driving me to Denver. And he paid for it. He, he came all the way from like Vail, Colorado at uh, where I was Aspen which is like three hours so he did he was like oh he's gonna be staying the night and then the next day he was like yeah um you can just stay with me if you want and you don't have to pay for my rooms anymore because I was like oh my gosh this is perfect for so I can buy the flight I bought the flight he drove me to Denver and my so my ID like my license never freaking came what did come was because of the fact that I was like, I don't know if it's going to come. I'm also going to have my friend exped expedite my passport. And just in case, like one of them can come first. The passport got there first. And it was perfect timing because if it was past one more hour, um, he said that he wasn't going to be able to because he has work and he had to drive like it would be too late. And it worked out too, too perfectly. I was honestly very happy and the best part about this whole story I know it seems kind of crazy and like not a really like pleasant vacation 
the best part was that I did find the pleasant moments in it because I went on hikes and I went and I totally like went all around Aspen. It was like great and like other areas. But the best thing I learned was sometimes like even if you put yourself in a moment like a uh, position and like you're not to, like to be with someone else like to go on to a vacation you should still try to like be in the moment and like be there on the vacation you know even if someone else is bothering you i was like about to when since we crashed i was like i'm gonna go home right away but i couldn't go home right away i, I was i wanted to go home right away like i felt like it was a bad idea like two hours in and then when i lost my wallet i was like i'm going i want to go home like now and I couldn't because I lost my wallet, so I was forced to stay there. And I was like, this is meant to be, that I am here. Like, I'm not supposed to just turn back around. I'm supposed to enjoy this time here. And then it also showed me that I I was so happy to be home and happy with all my stuff. You don't even understand. It was, like, the best thing. I was so, so grateful. And I'm still grateful that I went. And I'm grateful that I'm back. Like, it just makes uh, vacationing kind of also cool because, like, I like being there, but I also love being here. And yeah, I hope you liked my story. It was crazy. And to more crazy stories, I guess, because I have honestly many. But that's just one of like my craziest and most recent. So yeah. Okay, bye. See you later.